and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Julie Chen. And I'm Dean O'Lally. First of all, welcome back, Julie, as our guest co-host for this show. We are coming to you from the Owasso Christmas Tree and Berry Farm. Where it's safe to say it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Christmas tree season is well underway at this farm on 129th Street East in Owasso. For over 20 years now, owners Paula and Bill Jacobs have offered Christmas trees and decorations for Okies from all over the state. We'll show you around their shop throughout the show. But first, we know that many of you are already focused in on Christmas, but you know what you really should be thinking about? I'm thinking maybe a fishing trip. <laughs> That's because this time of the year is actually a great time to head out to an Oklahoma lake and reel in the big ones. And recently I had a chance to hit the water at Fort Gibson Lake and try something I had never attempted before, and that is bass fishing. Regardless of the kind of fishing I'm doing, it's always a time of reverence and awe. It's also a time of what I feel is concentrated relaxation. Fishing is quite majestic, yet so simple and joyful. But today I'm also going to learn a little bit about bass fishing on Fort Gibson Lake. Uh, I mean, really this is a great fishery. I mean, it's, uh, you know, one of those things that, uh, uh, you know, I grew up here and so I've seen it go from some of the best fishing to some of the worst fishing and then on the rebound again. So, you know, it's, it's really become a popular lake over the years. It, it definitely is a, a, it's a fun lake and, and I, I enjoy it. Uh, get out there every time I can. And that led me to ask Jason, when is the best time of the year to go bass fishing? I think to each his own on that. I, you know, I, I prefer it when it's hot, days of summer, you know, when it's really tough. As far as fun, uh, I would say the spring and the fall. I was reminded about how important timing is when it comes to fishing, but also it helps to have the right equipment. This lake can be challenging at times for a beginner. Uh, when it's, it's midsummer, late summer, uh, especially the month of September, is some of the toughest times to fish. I would think for someone who's just getting into it, there are a few baits that you'd probably want to go to that that could maybe build some confidence up. So, uh, you know, there's there's uh, fast moving baits like rattle traps, spinner baits. Those are all easy beginner. Uh, there's no technique uh, necessarily. You can reel it. You can just throw it and reel it. And 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 those are all good for beginners. Uh, another one is the Jingaru hardhead and biffle bug. And of course, with this being Oklahoma, you still have to pay attention to the weather. So, what kind of a day is ideal for bass fishing? This time of year, we're real accustomed to cold fronts. So you're looking for those front days, the pre-front and the day of the front is your better days. A day or two days after the front is normally your worst day. So, so here we are, I believe on our second day after the front. And so we have the conditions we have today. It's just high pressure. Yeah, you definitely wanna capitalize on pre-frontal conditions. And while today may not have been the best ideal conditions, Jason was able to catch one, <laughs> then a second one. There you go. And I was able to catch one. Well, kind of. Oh, you got one, don't you? Yeah, you do. What did I tell you? <laughs> it's called the Lolly Fishing Story Luck. <laughs> and my experience yeah. just then brought up a good point. The biggest mistakes I think people make is fishing too fast. You know, people want to cast and reel. You know, they just want to throw out there on any given bank and cast and reel. And that, and not work the bottom. Not work the bottom or not work the conditions or the time of year. Uh, in a sense of trying to gain a pattern uh, of where the fish may be positioned. And of course today many people use technology to increase their chances of catching some fish. I feel like when we had this, it was more off of skill. But regardless of one's skill levels, equipment, the number of fish caught, or even technology, any day fishing, in my opinion, is a good, joyful day. If you're looking for great places to fish or maybe to hire a guide to help you out, we have a great place for you to plan your next trip. Just head over to TravelOK.com and type the word fishing into the search bar. All sorts of resources right at your fingertips.
And after that fishing trip, it might be time to relax. I think so, but really, if you think about it, while the guys are at the lake fishing, I think the ladies need their own getaway. Do you know, I like the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Reynolds actually has a great place for a getaway in Oklahoma City. She takes us to Uander Spa. As you step around the corner of Robinson and Dean A. McGee into the entrance of the old Carnegie Library downtown and through this simple glass door. Hi, welcome to Uander. Thank you. How can I help you? Pull out a comfy cotton robe and slip into this silky, warm sauna. You realize you have found the perfect place to <sighs> exhale, which is what Udander means in Danish. With a name like Udander, people are like, what is it? Tell me more. Um, and I think they kind of are surprised once they get into here because it is kind of a whole nother world. It's kind of a little vortex or a little safe space where you can just be and unplug from the world. And so people have really responded well to having a safe haven like this. And like breathing, Udander is designed to be something you do with regularity as they do in Scandinavia. The Scandinavian countries, they really embrace steam and sauna into their everyday life. A lot of them have saunas in their backyard and they really understand the detoxification benefits of it on a daily basis. It's not as much of a luxury over there, it's a way of life. 10 to 15 minutes in the sauna, take a rest. Five to 10 minutes in the steam, do the cold plunge and then rest. And then you can do that cycle as much as you like. So basically you're heating up your body, you're resting, you're heating up your body, you're cooling down your body, and then you're resting. So you're taking your body through all of these temperature changes to really detoxify yourself. Add a luxurious tub soak, a foot soak, a cup of tea, even a snack or lunch from the nourished cafe next door. Just make sure you leave your cares and your phone behind. It feels like another world. Um, it's so pleasant, the, the music that they have going on, the smells, everything is relaxing. Um, I've traveled a lot, so whenever I'm here, I feel like I'm somewhere else, I'm traveling. It is a way to just exhale and kind of like put everything out, let, it, let everything go a little bit, hit the reset button. Udander's day is divided into men only and women only times for your privacy. And to make frequent trips affordable, they offer monthly memberships as well as services a la carte. No matter what service you choose, you'll be the better for it. It feels great. Relaxed, completely relaxed. After, you know, steam and sauna and then massage, it's just all over. You go home and you kind of just sit there and you stay, you stay in another world for a while until this one drags you back in. Uander, or any day spa in Oklahoma, is a great idea if you're looking to get a gift certificate to give someone for Christmas. You can also find a list of day spas in Oklahoma on our website, travelok.com. Just type day spa into the search bar. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. I never imagined that I would be Oklahoma City's Willy Wonka, but I'm, I'm happy to fill that role. We'll show you a hot spot to grab your Christmas candy You've missed out if you uh, leave without having had dessert because the, our desserts are all really, really good. Plus the legendary Norman restaurant where they really do save the best for last. Oh, this is awesome. Look at the castle. And flying high over the Arbuckles, the new zip line you just got to try. It's all ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. Great travel tips anytime. Like Discover Oklahoma on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Welcome back to the Owasso Tree and Berry Farm, where not only can you pick out your own Oklahoma-grown tree, but you can visit their gift shop for ornaments, too. And of course, once you have your tree all decorated, then it becomes time to really have fun dreaming about what may end up in your Christmas stocking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Angela Buckaloo has a great place to pick up those Christmas treats. She takes us to Woody's Candy in Oklahoma City. If you like chocolate or hard candies or soft candies, basically if you like candy or know someone who does, Woody's Candy is the place for you this holiday season. Claude Woody started the candy factory back in 1927, passed it down to his son who passed it down to family friend Brian Jackson. I never imagined that I would be Oklahoma City's Willy Wonka, but I'm happy to be that, I'm, I'm happy to fill that role. Woody's Candy is made on site, right there at the store. 
which is kind of hidden, tucked just a tad east of Northwest 70th and Western. Inside, Woody's elves mix, spread, and sprinkle on the peppermint. They stir, pour, and lay out the peanut brittle, all on some of the same slabs Woody Sr. used all those years ago. The store smells, as you can imagine, like candy heaven. We make turtles, we make toffees, we make fudges, we make different kinds of brittles, different nut clusters, pralines. Woody's candy is a great gift or Christmas stocking stuffer but also consider it for hostess or corporate gifts, whatever need you might have. I use them for teacher's gifts. Nothing says I appreciate you more than fresh candy. It's all boxed fresh right there at the store. It's an exciting time because we're making candy as, as quickly as we can. And it's, I mean, it's, it's going from the kettle to the cooling, to the packaging, to out the door in very, very short period of time. By Christmas Eve, we're pretty exhausted. We're, we're ready for some eggnog, for sure. <laughs> Woody's is also famous nationwide for its yummy Aunt Bill's candy. What does it taste like? Brian agrees it's hard to pinpoint, but he gave me a try. You what is it? You understand what? my predicament now. You asked me to describe it, and it's an now I'm asking you to describe it. What would you do it? What do you think it is? Woody's Candy is an Oklahoma original. For children and those just young at heart, it's a world of pure candy imagination. There's a secret sauce I haven't figured out yet. It's called happiness. <laughs> I think you're right. We're in the business of putting smiles on faces. How great is that? How's, how's it get any better than that? Probably not. Angela Buckaloo, Discover Oklahoma. Woody's Candy is located at 922 Northwest 70th Street in Oklahoma City. They're open Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., but they'll do special holiday hours. Just give them a call. And while you're out doing all your holiday shopping, don't forget to take in the sights of the season. And a great place to do just that, the Red Earth Art Center, where 18 Christmas trees decorated by Native American tribes are on display. Darren Brown takes us there. <music> They're not your average Christmas trees, but something a little more unique. For the second year in a row, the Red Earth Art Center is hosting Red Earth Tree Fest, a celebration of the diverse native cultures in our state. We really try to kind of capture what is unique about the citizen Potawatomi Nation. We have um, an ornaments. These ornaments are tribal seal um, and also has the jingle to represent the jingle dress dance. This particular tree is also decorated with photos of bald eagles, which are actually residents of the citizen Potawatomi Nation's eagle aviary. This is Wadase Zabwe. In Potawatomi, that means brave breakthrough. Um, she was an eagle at our citizen Potawatomi Nation eagle aviary, and in 2013, um, uh, they actually released her into the wild. Handmade ornaments also adorn the Cherokee Nation's tree. Mary aitson has been weaving baskets like these for over 20 years. Well, these are, uh, this is a double wall basket uh, using palm reed, uh, and then I dyed with a commercial dye. The red is commercial. And I start at the bottom and weave the bottom. Then I weave up on the inside wall, then turn the spokes down and weave the outside wall. The trees don't come together quickly. In fact, it can take up to three hours or more to get them ready for display. We're going to base the design of the tree on the seal of the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma. The seal contains an image of a tribal uh, uh, tradesman paddling his way to the shores uh, on the lake where the trading houses are, where he'll bring his goods in exchange for other goods. And that is, that's the main idea behind the seal and it's going to be the theme for the tree. Should we go around? Yeah. We've replicated the central image of the seal uh, here in, for a, kind of a diorama to go on the tree. So we have the tradesman here with his trades goods in the canoe uh, paddling, uh, with the paddle I made by the way, um, to, to the trading houses. I think really uh, just, just understanding that there are a lot of native tribes so people tend to think of them sort of as this one, one um, one culture and they have in their minds just very specific touchstones that they think of 
and those don't those don't really um, represent each of the individual tribes. So kind of celebrating and understanding what is unique about these different tribes, that they are different, that they do have something special to offer within their culture. I think that's a beautiful takeaway from a, a festival like this. In downtown Oklahoma City, discovering Oklahoma, I'm Darren Brown. The Red Earth Arts Center is located in downtown Oklahoma City near the Skirvin Hotel. Admission is free and you can find their hours listed on their website. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. Right here at the top of Turner Falls, no place like this place, any place, gotta be the place. Davis, Oklahoma's biggest backyard. How you can get a flying seat to one of the best views in our great state. I think what makes us stand out is that um, our menu is not necessarily American. We, we bring in influences from different cuisines. And one of the best places to eat in a college town, the legendary place where the locals in Norman love to eat a little bit later right here on Discover Oklahoma. Open seven days a week, 365 days a year, Oklahoma's great state parks are stocked with summertime adventures. Suit up and cool off in a lake or river. Hike the trails, dig for treasures, tour the caverns, or settle in under the stars. Book your stay at a cozy state park cabin or lodge. Check in Sunday or Monday and get your fourth night absolutely free. Get all the details at travelok.com slash spdeals and come see for yourself. Oklahoma Today magazine brings you stunning photography and authentic award-winning stories of home from Oklahoma. The only magazine that covers the entire state, Oklahoma Today showcases what we love about Oklahoma, bringing to you the very best of its people, places, culture, history, and of course, its legendary food. This holiday season, give the gift of Oklahoma Today to family and friends for just $14.95. Visit tvoffer.oklahomatoday.com. Welcome back to the Owasso Tree and Berry Farm. I love this place. It's located about 25 miles northeast of downtown Tulsa. For decades, Oklahoma families have been coming right here to enjoy picking out their very own Christmas tree. And you know, probably the majority of them also eventually make the trek to Turner Falls just to cool off during the summers. Mm -hmm. And now there's another reason to visit during the off season. Lizanne Anderson takes us to 777 Zipline. Oh, this is awesome. Look at the castle. How else could you get a view like this? Then flying oh, high in the sky oh, with something like this. We've got 777 Zip. It's a new zip line that's been put in here at Turner Falls. It's 777 feet long, just off Highway 77 with a view of a 77 foot waterfall. And you do it in about 77 seconds. Pretty easy to remember with all those lucky sevens. Owner Gary Fielding spent his life here in the Arbuckles. He retired from nearby Falls Creek, a church camp, and decided he wanted to share his favorite spot. Right here at the top of Turner Falls, no place like this place, any place, got to be the place. Davis, Oklahoma's biggest backyard. With the best view anyone could find. Well, you put two people sitting in this, you've got double cables on it, and you got double seat belts, so they're doubly protected. Once it's hooked up right and we raise the people up, they head up uh, to a 130 foot tower that's 770 feet away. So with my friend Darren and a GoPro strapped to my head. If it falls off, Barb, it's not my fault. We set off up the mountain. Love you! And it was kind of like oh a slingshot gosh. up into the Arbuckles. Off we went. Are you scared of heights? Oh, I'm terrified of heights. Darren is a little scared of heights. <laughs> Look how tight you're holding my hand. You can see the falls. See the cat? Oh, shoot. Watch your language, you're on TV. Some advice, though. I don't think you just lost my hand. Might want to take your hat off. He said it was worth it, though. And we weren't the only ones. Actually, I was up here at the end of August for the first time to try it, and I loved it. We brought a girlfriend that was 78 that day, and she and I rode it up and back. Loved it. We plan to put a uh, sled on this for Christmas time and have rides all the way through December and uh, have, have Santa coming out here. When they see it in operation, they, they say, hey, let's do this. They get excited about it when they see it going. Who'd have thought this would have been such a big deal? Me. <laughs>
Must be all those Woo! lucky sevens. 77 seconds worth the ride. Discovering Oklahoma in the Arbuckles, Davis, Oklahoma. I'm Lisanne Anderson. That was worth it. That was good stuff. <laughs> Here's what you need to know before you go. The ride is $10 per person. You have to be at least 42 inches tall to ride. And if winds are over 33 miles an hour, the ride is closed. During the off season, they're usually open on weekends, but call ahead if the weather is questionable. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. From cutting our steaks, cutting our, uh, trimming our fish, cleaning our chicken, everything we do at Legends is, is made from scratch. Home cooking that's legendary. The restaurant you just got to try when Discover Oklahoma continues. Oklahoma's new 2016 travel guide is your ticket to the state's most exciting places, attractions, and activities. Loaded with great ideas from cover to cover. Don't wait to order. Get your free 2016 Oklahoma travel guide online at TravelOK.com today. The Rhythm and Roots Music Trail is your front row seat to excitement. Hit the road to explore rock, blues, country, all of Oklahoma's rich music heritage. Order your free guide at TravelOK.com. We know we belong to the land. And the land we belong to is grand. To the land. Oklahoma, come see for yourself. Welcome back to the Owasso Christmas Tree and Berry Farm, just north of the Tulsa City limits. They don't just have trees here, they've got all the trimmings too. And after you trim your tree, actually before, we think you need to treat yourself and your family to a great meal. And a great place to do that is a restaurant that's a legend of sorts in Norman. Quintran takes us there. For nearly 50 years, Legends has been located in the same spot off of Lindsay and Norman. It's hard to believe from the decor and menu that Legends started as a pizza delivery and then evolved into a dine-in restaurant in the late 1960s. Each table had a telephone and you, could, you would call in your order to the kitchen and it would eventually appear, uh, but you could also call other tables. Joe and Rebecca Sparks have worked hard over the years to make Legends a tradition in Norman, a casual fine dining restaurant. And we want people to be able to come in um, in shorts, tennis shoes. I'm usually in shorts and tennis shoes and we don't want uh, people to feel like Legends is only a place that you come for a special occasion. The dishes for Sunday brunch are very popular. The soups are homemade. The salad bar is always fresh. From the specials of the day to items on the main menu. Um, this is a New Zealand lamb. Everything is made to order. From cutting our steaks, cutting our, uh, trimming our fish, cleaning our chicken, everything we do at Legends is, is made from scratch. So we, we have a broad menu from hamburgers and grilled Different cheeses. Different sandwiches, to and homemade pimento cheese, grilled cheese, and all the way to up to salads. expensive steaks. Yeah. Yeah. I think what makes us stand out is that our menu is not necessarily American. We, we bring in influences from different cuisines. In our specials, we, we uh, have a lot of different um, international influences, and I think that's what's fun. And there are some things on the menu that have been on here since like 1968, 69. Um, chicken crepes. Chicken crepes, <laughs> legend, Legends Chicken Salad. Um, Oh, the open-faced chicken sandwich um, that we would people would we can never revolt. take off. Yeah, yeah people <laughs> would revolt if we took them off. Yeah. Uh -huh. Loyal customers come not just for the food; the service is top-notch. If you have family or business guests or something, you always know if you bring them here, it's going to be nice. It's something you can count on, knowing it's going to be good. Something else that's good: all of the homemade desserts. The top sellers are the lemon cream cake and the Coca-Cola chocolate cake. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You've missed out if you leave without having had dessert because the, our desserts are all really, really good. I think you haven't discovered Norman if you haven't if you don't go to Legends. Yeah, we're a tradition. Yeah. Part of the community. Mm -hmm. In Norman, Quintran, Discover Oklahoma. 
Now we want to give a little extra plug to Legends and all of the Lindsay Street merchants in Norman. Construction has closed the Lindsay Street ramp to and from I-35 for several months now. And as a result, spots like Legends and all the businesses along Lindsay are experiencing an almost 50% decline in business. So we'd like to give an extra special reminder to shop local and take the time to check out all the businesses along Lindsay and Norman. And speaking of local, a huge thank you to this business in the heart of Owasso for hosting us this week. A reminder, the Owasso Christmas Tree and Berry Farm is located on North 129th East Avenue, just west of the Tulsa Tech Owasso campus. They're open every single day until December 23rd, from 1 to 7, Monday through Friday, and 9 to 7 on the weekends. And coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, the perfect pit stop if your holiday road trip is taking you through southern Oklahoma this year. We're taste testing Arbuckle fried pie. Mmm, and amazing art exhibits that your family can view for free this holiday season. Find out where and what else you might see. It's all coming up next week right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.